Hey everyone, and welcome to this video on lagging and leading indicators in safety. In this video, we're going to cover what lagging and leading indicators are, why they're important, examples of each type of indicator, how to use them to improve safety, what are lagging and leading indicators. Lagging indicators are measures of safety performance that track what has already happened. Leading indicators are measures of safety performance that can be used to predict future safety performance. Another way to think about it is that lagging indicators are reactive, while leading indicators are proactive. Why are lagging and leading indicators important? Lagging indicators are important because they can help us to identify areas where we need to improve our safety performance. However, they are not very effective in preventing incidents from happening. Leading indicators are important because they can help us to identify and address potential hazards before they cause an incident. By focusing on leading indicators, we can improve our safety performance over time. Examples of lagging and leading indicators. Here are some examples of lagging and leading indicators. Lagging indicators. Number of recordable incidents. Number of lost time incidents. Number of fatalities. Workers' compensation costs. Leading indicators. Number of safety inspections completed. Number of safety training hours completed. Number of hazards identified and corrected. Employee engagement in safety programs. How to use lagging and leading indicators to improve safety. To use lagging and leading indicators to improve safety, you need to first identify a set of indicators that are relevant to your organization and its operations. Once you have identified a set of indicators, you need to collect data on a regular basis and track your performance over time. If you see that your performance on a lagging indicator is declining, this is a sign that you need to take action to improve your safety performance. You can use leading indicators to identify the specific areas where you need to focus your improvement efforts. For example, if you see that your number of recordable incidents is increasing, you can look at your leading indicators to see if there are any specific hazards or unsafe behaviors that are contributing to the problem. Once you have identified the problem areas, you can develop and implement corrective actions.